literally, I've tried to leave this clip like two or three times in a row. And my voice is so fucking raspy where I was like dry coughing a few times. And I'm just like, all right, I just have to redo the whole fucking clip. So anyway, this colloquialism, hot feels cold, cold feels hot, is referring to temperature dysesthesia, a nice uh, sophisticated term, okay, that uh, occurs with ciguatera toxicity. Ciguatera toxin, I'm not fucking with you. This is on the USMLE, okay? And ciguatera toxicity, ciguatera toxin, uh, is acquired from various reef fish, such as mahi mahi, mackerel, kingfish, okay? And it acts on sodium channels. Now, I'm just going to say, you don't need to fucking know exactly what it's doing at sodium channels. This isn't like an obscure Q-Bank question where it's like, oh my God, like, it's not that, okay? It's just, it acts on sodium channels. But Michael, like, tell me, what is it doing at sodium channels? It's essentially lowering the threshold via which sodium channels open, okay? So it's increased transmission of sodium. Uh, the cell depolarizes, resulting in paralysis, all right? Once again, you don't need to know that. It's just sodium channels. Um, and hot feels cold, cold feels hot. Temperature dysesthesia, all right? This is the presentation for ciguatera toxicity. Tangentially, some other high yield points are tetrodotoxin, which is a toxin you get from pufferfish, okay? Here in Japan, where I am, it's called fugu. Um, it's not even that delicious, truthfully. It tastes like swordfish. Uh, but nevertheless, it's like, oh, wow, I'm eating fugu. Holy shit. Uh, but pufferfish blocks sodium channels and is just another paralytic agent that can cause death. And then finally, saxitoxin um, you can get from shellfish, and that also blocks sodium channels. That is on the USMLA, okay? When I mention stuff that sounds very pedantic and low yield, I have to be like ultra excessive by essentially proclamating that it's on the USMLE. Otherwise, you would just be like, oh, okay, like that, that'll never show up. But saxitoxin, tetrodotoxin, and ciguaterotoxin all adversely affect sodium channels. And um, these are the toxins you need to know from USMLE, okay? So saxitoxin from shellfish, tetrodotoxin from pufferfish, ciguaterotoxin from reef fish, such as mahi mahi, mackerel, and uh, kingfish. Okay, so, and then finally, just before I end this clip, um, tangentially, if the vignette gives you someone who eats shellfish and gets what appears to be an allergic type response, that is shellfish allergy, okay? Just straight up shellfish allergy. Uh, it's not saxitoxin. And then finally, there's something called scombroid. So many things I can talk about, but scombroid, okay, is an allergic-like reaction. It's not an actual. It's not an actual allergy. Scombroid is an allergic-like reaction you can get from decaying reef fish, such as mahi mahi, that results in allergic type response, and it's due to bacteria in the fish breaking down histidine into histamine. Okay. So bacterial histidine decarboxylase converts the histidine in the in the fish, in decaying fish, into histamine, and that causes an allergic type response. That's scombroid. That's reef fish. You don't get scombroid from shellfish. If they give you a shellfish vignette, it's shellfish allergy. Don't get all trigger happy about choosing scombroid, okay? You'll see both in the question. You learn something weird called scombroid, you get all excited. But if they give you shellfish, choose shellfish allergy. If they give you an allergic-like response from reef fish, choose scombroid. And then if you get a paralysis, dyspnea um, from shellfish, you're going to choose saxitoxin. Paralysis, dyspnea from pufferfish, you're going to choose tetrodotoxin. And uh, hot feels cold, cold feels hot, temperature dysesthesia, that's ciguaterotoxin with uh, these latter three toxins all acting on sodium channels. Okay. That was exciting, right? That was our little, uh, our little mini, our little mini sesh on uh, some of the fish related uh, conditions. All right, that's it.